All right, so to help you with your Tableau journey, there are heaps and heaps of resources that you can access to really, you know, learn and what is it, fast track your learning, right? So obviously YouTube is one, um, but Tableau themselves have a massive library of things you can do. So if you go to the main, if you go to the website and you go here to resources, basically each of these links is something for you to learn. So I'm going to go through some of these links and what they mean. So getting started, right, really depends on kind of on uh, which category you fall into, right? So creator is obviously when you're designing things, explorer means you're going on Tableau online and interacting with the data and Tableau viewer, again, very similar to Tableau explorer. Admin, right, is if you are kind of preparing the cloud site, okay? When I say preparing, I don't mean you're designing the actual internet stuff behind it, it's not that. It's that when you, let's say, buy your very first creator license, right? Um, you will get a Tableau site automatically as part of that license. So you can create your own site, but then how do you actually manage that site, right? How do you create folders? How do you set up the rules and permissions and how to do subscriptions, alerts, uh, what else? Um, heaps of stuff right? All the admin stuff in the background um, that you can do. That's this bottom part here. A majority of you will most likely not be doing that. That is either left to IT or someone like me who, you know, you're trying to get into the company. So you have to learn how to get that set up at the beginning. Eventually you'll hand that over to your IT division to manage the whole thing, right? So you can click on these and it'll give you heaps of information how to get started. Um, the next one is this learn. Right, so there's this new COVID-19 data live training. I haven't done that today, but there's heaps of kind of free training videos you can do. I think you once you create an account, uh, which is free, you can start viewing all the training videos and they have like a whole course on things that are really good for beginners. So you can check all that out. Obviously heaps of um, other types of learning. So you go your e-learning, an instructor can um, come to your site, uh, to your company i think it's that one. Oh no sorry this is the virtual training so with a with a trainer live training q a so heaps there community so tableau's tableau's community is one of the craziest communities you'll probably ever see it's one of the kind of defining factors that it's not really wasn't really a thing i guess for a long time or maybe it was I'm not, I'm not too sure but what i found with the tableau community it's like they're kind of like fans they're fans they're not just users they're fans and if you're lucky enough to go to a tableau conference maybe a small local one or a really really big one you'll see that they are fanatics they love data um, everyone is kind of in the same experience they want to get better so it's you know heaps to learn right? Heaps to learn. And it's a great thing to kind of go to. And you go there and the conference is like, they're playing music. You got bands, you got like all these booths and people are just like, oh, they're just freaks with like data. It's so much fun. I, you know, I really love to go to the one in the United States. I think they did one in, uh, I think it was Vegas or New Orleans. I can't remember what the last one was. Um, but yeah, it would have been great to go. Um, so the next tab is customer stories. So this is a pretty big one where companies that are already using it tell their stories of, you know, this is what experiences we've had. Um, so you can see what it's actually like for companies, not kind of, not the sales pitch, All right? Viz Gallery, I use this a lot. And the Viz Gallery gives you heaps of ideas of um, different ways to visualize different types of data, right? And a lot of people publish to, I think it's Tableau Public, I think they use for this. I uh, can't remember exactly, but they're, yeah, my internet's been terrible today. <laughs> Not everything's been loading. Um, but you get heaps of ideas of different charts. And you can, I think you can contact the people if there's something you want to be able to visualize, but you're not too sure how, right? Uh, reference materials. So here you got like a lot of, uh, I guess, white papers, I think they call them. So documents and articles that you can read of real world applications. Tableau blog, so they'll write all sorts of things here as well. Um, Tableau Blueprint, you probably don't have to worry about this one so much at the beginning. Tableau Blueprint is basically how do you get it into your organization? How do you become a more data-driven organization? How do you do self-service analytics? This is really, uh, I don't want to say high level, but it covers the high level of how to do it. 
Um, but my experience is usually the start is trying to convince people. Once you kind of convince them and you've got like, you know, high profile players like, you know, senior managements on board and say, hey, let's do this for the whole company. Tableau Blueprint is fantastic because they will lay out every single step that you have to do to get it to where you want to get it to. So becoming a data driven organization, let's say. Um, events and conferences, there's heaps. It's not just the, the main Tableau conference. There's lots of little ones as well that you can do just locally and they talk about all sorts of data. I'd encourage you guys to go and check a few of those out, which I've I've done it myself. Um, support, uh, a lot of beginners use this. Uh, actually, I still use this, which is basically if you have something you're struggling with, you can um, uh, type it in here. Sometimes there's already a question that's already been solved or you can post up a new question right get more resources than that developer program so the developer program is when you've become like a tableau freak like me <laughs> where you want to have access to all the latest changes all the all the new versions all the you know all the all the back end really really fascinating stuff so you can access things way before a lot of other people do you can help them with their beta testing um, when they're releasing something new or you can even say listen it'd be great to have a feature like this you know and you can kind of work with tableau on that which is great. And the last one is services. So I actually don't know this one, services. I guess this is kind of overlapping with some of the other stuff, which is, you know, training, consulting. So consulting is, you know, you're getting help from them to build stuff for your company, right? And all sorts of other things. So you can see that there's heaps of stuff that you can kind of go through and learn um, as your external resources. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.